Kua rea heki wohkari, muna mula ella mai Alpinis Green Tail Feathers, muna eri gana awas, tai o Blood Red Vahtas ja saamis ja muna gulo olu kehtu tiin wohkari ja kehtu raamapolu naape olu kehtu. Uh, hello, my name is Ella Maya. I've been in Skim Tail Feathers. You can just call me Maya. Uh, I come from Kainai or the Blood Reserve in Alberta. And I'm also Sami from Norway. It's three years ago, almost to the date today. Myself and two other women from our nation, unarmed women from our nation, were arrested by tribal police after setting up a peaceful blockade at an access road to, to the first fracking well that was built on the Blood Reserve, which was less than two kilometers away from my grandparents' home and my mother's home. And that day basically left me questioning everything. I mean, how is it that three unarmed women from our tribe were arrested by tribal police for protecting the land, the one thing that is most sacred to us. So three years later, almost to the day as I mentioned, I finally understand why that, that experience left me feeling so dark afterwards. And it's because what happened was an act of lateral violence, it was an act of gendered violence, and it was an act of systemic colonial violence. The chief and council agreeing to sign away over half of our land for this destructive, awful form of uh, gas and oil extraction was an act of lateral violence. The male police officers uh, arresting three women and throwing us into jail, that was an act of gendered violence. Uh, the gas and oil companies exploiting yet another marginalized indigenous community fueled by this predatory capitalist agenda, that was an act of violence. And all of this fits under this whole system of colonialism, which is inherently rooted in the utter disempowerment of a people. So it's no wonder the Canadian state doesn't give a damn about indigenous peoples, and it's no wonder industry doesn't give a damn about indigenous peoples, because it's always been about taking our lands and taking our resources and erasing us as a people, but we're still here. That's where I'm investing my energy in this movement, in the struggle for indigenous self-determination, in the struggle for our, for our land and resources.